But what's the difference of a standard compared to a goal? A goal is something we reach for. A standard is something we settle for. Why do we believe in social enterprise or why right now there's so many people around the world who are really focused at this concept of conscious capitalism or this concept of effective giving? Uh, the reason is because we are seeing this massive sea change take place around the world with the goals that we have set with our Millennium Goals. United Nations set eight Millennium Goals, which are the promise of our generation, and with the way that governments are currently working, the way that entrepreneurs currently work. We currently are living in a system and in a world where if we choose to wait for governments to solve all the world's problems, then we're probably kidding ourselves because no government on the planet was elected to solve world problems. They were elected to solve their national problems. The world problems have to come secondary. But if they're not going to solve all the world problems, who are? The United Nations Millennium Goals were set in the year 2000, and most of the people who signed against those, 192 countries, the presidents, the prime ministers, they're no longer in power. They've been elected out. Someone else is in. Those signatures that are on that piece of paper are not there to continue with that promise. So who is? We're still here. So what if the entrepreneurs of this planet were here to uphold those promises? A group of eight of us got together in Singapore back in 2002 and we said, what if those promises were meant to be kept not by the governments of the world or not by any big organizations, but what if they were there to be kept by us? And my kids believe that. I've got three kids and the kids think it's the adults of the world who made those promises, not the governments of the world. So who's actually in better place to make that difference? Is it the ones who actually are able to access just their national flow or is it the ones who can actually access global flow? The top entrepreneurs in the, in the entire planet now, which includes the Bill Gateses and the Warren Buffets of the world, already know this. That's why they are dedicating so much of their time and their voice right now to making a difference. Anyone at all who decides that they're going to actually go out there to make that difference, to be extraordinary, the first place to start is to take ownership on some of these promises of our millennium, these promises of our generation, and to say, well, you know what? An end to poverty is actually a real possibility. But it isn't going to happen by me waiting for someone else to make it happen. It's going to happen by me myself deciding to take some responsibility for making that happen. And the great thing is, it's only when we actually take that responsibility, things really do start to happen. What we're seeing is we're seeing this huge shift within groups like United Nations where they're embracing entrepreneurs, where they're bringing us together and saying, you know what, the real trust that's taking place on this planet is not necessarily happening at the government level. It's certainly happening at the individual level. So, uh, Excel was uh, invited to join the United Nations uh, about a year ago. We're now part of the Global Compact. Uh, we're now part of the Clinton Global Initiative. We're part of all of the large groups of change makers around the world. Uh, people are recognizing that entrepreneurs who are coming together can make that, different, that big difference. We're seeing ourselves not so much as a community of entrepreneurs as effectively a virtual online nation uh, where when someone actually joins Excel, what they're doing is they're effectively stepping into a new citizenship a global citizenship as an entrepreneur to be able to get together, to make a difference, to elect their own uh, causes and to be able to actually make sure their money is going towards the things that can really make a difference for them. And I think that now that empowerment that we have is an empowerment that we've seen recently in the American elections that individuals have to make that difference that we're seeing all around the world as well, that any ounce of breath that we waste complaining about our governments or complaining about our environment or complaining about our economies or the weather is an ounce of our time taken away from the true value we can be giving, not by focusing at what we don't have, but focusing at the power we already do have to go out there and already make that difference. The Million Dollar Challenge is a unique TV collaboration to help you make more money. Join now to get free access to the world's top sales, marketing and internet experts direct from your desktop. There are hundreds of shows like the one you've just seen. Tap into the combined experience of dozens of world leading experts and thousands of other business people. There are also low risk, results based options if you're looking for more help. Sign up today.